Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome. In today's video, we're gonna do a Valentine's Day look. I went ahead and I picked up the Lost in Love collection from ColourPop. And I picked up nearly all of the products in the um, whole collection. I went ahead and got the Lost in Love palette. Uh, this is an 18 shade. Um, eyeshadow palette. I picked up one of the lip and cheek balms. This is a new product to the brand and I didn't get all three of them because I watched uh, some of the uh, videos on it and some people said you really didn't need to get all three because they were pretty similar um, and I kind of agree with that. So um, I picked up all three ultra glossy lips I have not tried any of these products. I just opened them so I didn't have to mess with them while I was uh, doing the video. Um, same thing with the Jelly Much eyeshadows. I picked up uh, all three of those. And then um, and then just because I thought this was adorable, I threw in this uh, Cherry um, Hand Mirror. I like their hand mirrors and I kind of started collecting some hand mirrors now. So. That is the extent of what I picked up from the collection. And um, I just want to give you a little bit of background. I, you know, I'm not much for, I don't typically pick up um, collections that coincide with, um, you know, holidays. But uh, Michaela, um, Britt Clark, uh, Teresa is dead and Jen Phelps. I watched all their videos and they all influenced me in one way or another to pick up this um, this set. I I like ColourPop, but I don't buy a lot of ColourPop. Um, but I have to tell you, I just really, really like fell in love with these products, just watching their videos and seeing them do looks with them. Um, the Lost in Love palette, um, the packaging is just, I think is just leveled up from what ColourPop normally does. And then even when you take it out, the, the cardboard packaging matches the outer packaging, which I think is nice because sometimes the outer packaging, and this is not just with ColourPop, but just generally speaking, the outer packaging sometimes looks better than the actual packaging of the product itself. But here's a look at the um, actual um, 18 pan palette. You can see that it's, it's very Valentine inspired. Um, and then um, let's see what it says here. So it says that it is the Lost in Love palette. Um, it is 12 pinks, reds, and corals in matte metallic and pearlescent glitter finishes. I don't like glitters, but, you know, that's one of the reasons why I stopped buying ColourPop palettes is because I found that in nearly every one of their um, palettes, they would have a glitter in it. So I stopped buying the 18 pans and I would buy like the little ones or the nine pans. Um, but we'll see. We'll see how this goes. Um, it says, why you love it. Our ultra pigmented eyeshadow formula is long lasting, feels velvety, applies evenly and blends like a dream. It is limited edition. So it is for, you know, for Valentine's Day. Um, it's $18. Uh, they do have the entire collection on their website. If you want to get the entire collection, it's 110, but everybody's got a code. So I think Jen Phelps has one, Teresa has one, Leah Janae has one. I think their code saves you like $5. Um, there is a sponge. I didn't pick up the sponge. And I already told you that I didn't pick up the other two lip and cheek bombs because I just I just felt like they they looked very similar um but they they're getting rave reviews and I've never tried the jelly much eyeshadows before um I heard that they're um that they can dry up but I also heard that they've uh updated their packaging so that also you know sort of you know helped me decide to pick them up they looked really nice but I also heard they're not drying out as quickly because ColourPop fixed that issue that their customers had an issue with. 
So without further ado, I've already put my um, complexion products on. I did my eyebrows. I didn't prep my um, my eye um, my eyelids. <laughs> so let me just do that real quick. And I'm gonna I'm not gonna start with the eyeshadow. I'm actually gonna start with the cheek and lip products first. So let's let that sit for a minute. And let's go ahead and try out the the lip and cheek balm. Like I said, this is a new um, formula for the brand. So it comes this really cute heart shaped. And then here's what that's looking like. This was the lightest one. Um, I'm just going to take some on my finger there. I'm going to give you a swatch. So I heard these are like glowy lips. Okay. So that looks good. Um, this, this shade is Adore Me. Now these retail for $12 each. Um, I think if you buy all three, they're 32. Okay. I'm going to do that and see how it looks with these glosses. Maybe a swatch. So there's the swatch right there. I heard these are like super, oh yeah. Mmm, smells nice. It smells like, I think, strawberries. Okay, so that's that shade. All right, let's do... Let's do the middle shade now because it's like it goes from light, then it goes to this pink. Let me just take this one off. And then this shade is taken. You can buy these individually, I think, or all three. Very pretty. Let me give you a little swatch of that too. So there it is right there. So that's also pretty. I like that also. Okay. And then let's try the darkest shade. And that one is Lover Era. That's how that's looking. And there's the shade. So there's the three shades right there. Very pretty. I think I like, I mean, this one's a little on the dark side. They're all really nice, but I think I like the first shade. I think I like the first shade the most and then the second shade. And then I would say this is the, the third one is the one, but they're really nice. If it just, if I had to rank them, I would say uh, that's how I would, um, I would go. So, okay. So that's the cheek and the lip product. Okay. So let's go ahead and create a look now. Um, using the palette. So um, I am actually going to try to do, um, I'm not going to be original here. I'm not going to attempt to do that. <laughs> I'm going to, I'm actually going to do what Michaela did. And because I really like the look that she created. And I wrote down the three shades that she used. She did like a halo look. And I'm going to do, just start to tap this on the outside. Of course, she made this look really, really easy. OK, 
okay, well, this is laying down nice. Okay, so give me a second and I'll be back. I'm gonna make sure I get this right and then I'll show you what the halo looks like. Okay, so here is what that shade is looking like. Then she went in with dibs. So that's that shade right there. And she said she diffused it with that shade. So it looks like she just went around and kind of like blended it out a little bit. And I don't do a lot of halo eyes, so I'm just hoping I'm just hoping I don't have to scrap this whole video because it didn't come out very good. But, you know, it's makeup, it's fun, we're just playing, and we're just trying to emulate her look, so. Um, okay, and then the third shade that she did, then she took a, um, a glitter glue, she took a NYX glitter glue, and she laid that down in the center, just in the center. I was like, oh good, I have NYX glitter glue. I think I can do this. Okay, so we're just gonna lay that down. Okay, that's laid down. Let me see if I have the type of brush that she used. But it doesn't feel like it when I stick my finger in it. So there it is. That's what that's looking like. So let's see. It's very pretty. Let me see if I can, if you can see that. I know it's not like, focusing real well but let's see what this does hmm it looks it looks like her look it looks the way like the way she did it so um okay I'm gonna finish doing this and then we'll come back Okay, so here's how we're looking, trying to do what Michaela did. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove these swatches off my hand now because I wanna show you the Jelly Much shadows and I need space on my hand to do that. Okay. I, this is the first time I'm trying these and I already have an opinion about them because um, I open them to take photos for Instagram. So this is, so this is what they look like when you open them up. They have like a little tab here and it says to close them tightly so, so that they don't dry up. Okay, and then you open them and I mean, they're messy. This is, this is what they look like. I actually saw a video on Instagram the other day of ColourPop making these. So it's like kind of cool the way they make them. I think this is the shade that she used. This one is All Love. And let me give you a swatch. So that's what that looks like. Super pretty, super, super pretty. Um, okay, and then the next one, 
And I'm not even gonna, I'm not gonna close this out because I'm not sure which one I'm gonna use yet. So the next one is a little bit lighter. And I'll swatch this one. So they're kind of close, but I think this one is more pink in it and this one's more icy. And this shade is Forever Valentine. And that's what that one looks like. So it has pink in it, but it's more like an icy pink. And then the last one, which is the most pink, I mean they're they're really pretty but like I said they're just they're just a little messy in my opinion. Um okay. And then there's this one. I'll swatch that. You could see that that clearly is very pink. And that name is moon and stars so that's the three and i think the one that would go really well just to kind of beef up this look a little bit is going to be this one i think it's this one or is it this one let's see she didn't say which one she used so there's this one. I think it's this one. All right, let's give it a try. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go in with that same brush and I have a brush that is really good. Um, of course, I can't find it in the moment, but I have a brush that's really made for, um, it's a refer brush and it's made for like these kind of um, shadows. But let's go ahead and pick a little bit up. That's how that's looking. And let's just tap that in. So now you can see, yeah, I mean, I think it definitely bumps it up another level. And they Feel, they have like this like cooling kind of feeling. Yeah, it's like when you, you have to kind of like tap it on and it has like a little bit of like a cooling sensation. But I heard that they don't like really migrate or anything, so. That's good, okay. So this goes in here and they said, then you just basically, like they said, you have to like really push these down. If you push them down, you know, like therefore like really closing it up, they said that they'll last. So that's what we're gonna do, okay. So that is, that now let me see i am going to take i'm going to take this sonia g and i'm going to go back into the um into this palette and i am going to let's see i'm going to go into this other shade here and i'm just going to run that under this is a very pink and coral eyeshadow palette so if you don't like those kind of colors then you know you're not going to get like any kind of extreme depth out of it um, this is, I mean, you know, you know, there's no browns or anything like that. So, um, and I'm just trying to use this palette. So, all right, I'm going to go back into that original shade, which is the darkest one. Yeah. See, I had to do that to get any kind of depth. That other shadow wasn't really doing it.
Okay. Okay. Um, now I'm just going to go ahead and I'm just going to deepen up the corner a little bit here with a little bit of a dark brown. I'm using this um, Sephora collection um, coal eyeliner. And then I'm going to go ahead and do my lashes, but I'm going to do them off camera and come back. Okay, I'm back. So this is the finished look using the uh, Lost in Love collection. So um, let me give you my final thoughts on the uh, collection here. So I think that the um, the the blush is wonderful. I think the consistency is nice. My cheeks don't feel sticky. I like the shade. Um, I think if I got the other colors, it would be fine. I just think they're a little bit deeper, but I do think you can get me even more pigment if you layered this up. So I maintain that you could just get one of these and probably be fine. Um, they're just so close in, 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 uh, shade range that I agree that you could get one of these and be good. So that's my feeling on that. Um, I do concur that picking up all three three of these is worth it. The shades are so distinctly different that they're worth it. They feel great on the lips and I like the shade range. Um, I did go ahead and take that Charlotte Tilbury shade off and I lined with this NYX shade here and I can put that down in the description box for you. Um, and then I went back in and I put this lightest shade on. Um, and that's how that's looking. So I think it's really nice. I, I really like uh, these. I think they're definitely worth it. Um, the Jelly Mutt Shadows, um, I think these are really lovely too. I mean, I look forward to using them, um, you know, different ways. You know, I, I don't typically do a uh, halo eye. So this is definitely like a different look for me but it's fun, it's different, and um, I'm glad I tried to do, um, tried to copy Michaela's look. I think it came out pretty cool. Um, it's, I do like that these really bump it up and they don't feel, they don't feel weird on my lid. I mean, I do think that the shade in the palette, um, that lightest shade that I put in the center, um, you know, it really was like, you know, it gave like a lot of, I think it was a metallic. Um, it did really give a lot of beam, um, but these do definitely, I can see where these would get you that real metallic high shine um, look. If you really like that, uh, like I said, um, I heard that ColourPop listened and they they made these better that they don't dry up so quickly. So for me, only time is gonna tell because this is the first time I'm trying them myself. So um, so yeah, I, it's still available. It says selling fast, but they have the whole collection. You can buy them, you know, uh, in, you know, separately. You can buy these three together. You can buy the glosses together. You can buy the Jelly Much in the trio. So, you know, you could buy this by itself, the palette. So, um, yeah, I mean, so you can uh, kind of parse that out or buy the whole collection. Um, I think it's a nice collection. I, I, I agree with everybody. I mean, like I said, I don't usually buy these collections that correlate to holidays, but, um, I have four people that I watched and I said, you know, every single person that did a look with these, uh, products, it just came out super, super cute. And I really liked it. So that's my thoughts, um, and feelings on this collection. Um, big thumbs up from me if you want to give that a try and it's fun and it's color pop so you really can't go wrong um, if you're not already following me please go ahead and you know give me a follow and join our little makeup family and if you like the video give it a thumbs up and um, put a comment below and let us know uh, would you pick this 
uh, collection up? Is it something that would interest you? Um, do you like these holiday type collections? Um, we'd love to hear from you. And if you're not already following me on Instagram, please do so. Please go ahead and follow me over on Instagram as well. And um, that's the end of the video, my friends. Thank you for giving me your time today. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you soon.